Only about ten a gallon, now you cooks a rhubarb pud. And Alan again will be providing some delicious drinks to go with it, or else. Class, <laughs> class will be revealing the results of today's ding dong. Should you ever lie to your children? Now, we saw earlier some pictures of celebrities who dressed up as Adam Ant, and some of you at home have also sent in your pictures. Here you, Adam. There they come. First up is Darren. Darren from Norfolk. Oh, terrible <laughs> smile. I say he's straight off HMS Bounty, isn't he? Cathy really, really. <laughs> from Norwich. She sent one in. That's yes, all right. Kathy. That's all right. I'll get you about it. Now, wait for it. Four year old Reese sent in this from oh. his mum. Oh. <laughs> from, that's from his mum, Siobhan. Oh. And. Alison has very kindly knitted this. This is a knitted you. <laughs> this lady, this lady made, yeah, she's made this. It's a charity affair. She sells them, but I, I, they're wonderful. They're great. They're really lovely. Yeah, she's made Prince Charming. Good. Well, <laughs> well, well, continuing the 80s theme in honour of Adam and Belinda, we've decided to put her knowledge of the decade of the big hair and shoulder pads to the test in a game we're calling I Heart the 80s. <laughs> I've always wanted to be Bruce Forsyth, which isn't strictly true, but you'll understand this game. Myself. This is like uh, the card game he used to play. You know, we're higher, higher, lower, lower. Play your cards right, right? So, Belinda, question. So, there might be a little prize at the end of this if you do well. So, is this higher or lower? But first of all, we're going to get a number to start with. The number of red balloons that Nina sang about during the 80s was... Shh. 99. You think 99? The answer is... 99! There we are. So, speed in miles per hour that Marty and Doc had to reach before they could go back in time. Higher or lower? Higher. Uh, much higher. Much higher. Speed in MPH. Marty and Doc had to reach before they could go back in time. 88. The number of copies sold in 1984 of Band-Aids Do They Know It's Christmas, higher or lower than 88? Are oh, you sure? Yes! It was, in fact, 3.7 million copies. The number of possible combinations on a Rubik's Cube, higher or lower? Lower. No. No. You think lower. The number is 43 quintillion. Does anybody really know what a quintillion is? Do we care? No. The number of albums Belinda Carlisle and the Go Go's released in the 80s were clearly higher, isn't it? I mean, the 43. Lower. Lower. It was. Do you know the number? Um, no. Six. I think it's actually higher than that. Is it higher than that? Higher than that. Okay. The number of people in detention in the classic film The Breakfast Club. Higher. Higher? Higher? Higher. It was <laughs> lower. Five. The number of times Stand and Deliver is sung, is sung in the Adam and the Ant song of the same name. Higher. Higher. Any guesses? <laughs> Well, we need a prize for Belinda. Now, dear, can you bring a prize out? Because she got, got most of the prize. I'm afraid it's the loser's prize. It's the loser's prize. <laughs> the on diamonds this, we're keeping over there. On, on this show, it's the winner's prize, Belinda. Thank you for being good sports. You're very welcome. Let it go out. <laughs> Try not to drop the cards, Alan. Time to get back to the kitchen now. What are we making? What are you making? We are making a rhubarb crumble. Right. But, but not like a traditional rhubarb crumble. Again, it's, it's we're in spring and rhubarb is a spring. Well, it's such a bit. I just love the colour combination of rhubarb. Oh, oh you'd like that. I mean, that's so lime gorgeous. green and this wonderful rosy So red. gorgeous. Beautiful. Leave the rhubarb alone and get Move it. Move it in, love. OK. <laughs> Can you say so, that to all the boys? <laughs> so if you can whisk half of that into there and then fold in the half rest. Half of that yeah. into there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, just that's into there. Yeah, just half, half of it. And then fold in the rest. Yeah. Okay. So give it a bit of a whisk. Right, and then fold in the rest. Okay. And then fold in the rest. Much. And that's just egg white, egg white and sugar. Right. So it's kind of soft. And what was in there? What cream? Uh, that's just uh, yeah, thick double cream. Right. Thick okay. double cream. So here I've, I'm going to make my crumble. So I've got butter, equal amounts of butter, flour, and sugar. 
and I'm going to add that caster sugar. I'm just going to fold in the rest. Fold in. You could use any sugar. You could use brown sugar if you prefer. But I, I like caster sugar with the rhubarb. And some ginger, because ginger goes so well Ooh, with rhubarb. rhubarb. And then you yeah. literally just crumble it like that. So easy. Everything is really easy and quick. Right. So now I'm going to just add some pistachio nuts. Alan! <laughs> Alan! <laughs> pistachio I'm nuts in. I'm just in. So then all I did with that was just pop that in the oven uh, for about 15 minutes. It's nice and crunchy. Right, yeah. Okay. So now we're going to start layering up our crumble. Right. So. Mm. Um, Shall we have a glass while we're layering? Yes, please. This is, looks like dental mouthwash. Oh, what is it? <laughs> no, it's like rhubarb wine. <laughs> oh, it's quite individual, isn't it? it uh, <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I actually quite like?